Hello everybody. Hope to find you well. I'm at uh, Bowling Springs State Park. At where the spring comes out. There's a where the spring is in the pavilion. Comes out here. The reflecting pool. You notice people use it as a wishing well. There's an ancient pagan tradition that carries on. Giving a sacrifice to the water goddesses. Doesn't help, you know, but people still do it. I don't know if this is going to record it right or not. A lot of terrible things happening in this world. Where I'm at, it's beautiful. Miles from all that horror. Saw a video about uh, the gay pride party in Taiwan ending terribly. Saw people. Uh, Using that as a look, see here, God's punishing them. That stop, stop that, please stop that. Terrible. It's a horrifying thing to see. All those poor young people running on fire. That's something I wouldn't wish on anybody. If it's an act of God, how come they survived? Some of them survived. Why didn't they all just get fried right there? It was a terrible accident. We shouldn't be taking advantage of such a situation. These people are victims enough. They're victims enough. No, I'm not for gay marriage but I'm also for love and doing no harm why didn't uh, God punish the Supreme Court <laughs> there's another thing now that got me curious since when do the justices of the Supreme Court make law since when they do, do they change the definitions of things? Who gives them the right or the authority to change the definitions? Who gives them the right and authority to make a law? And to force this upon people? It's not in their... It's not in the Constitution for them to do that. Everybody accepts that, don't they? Sounds like Texas is going to fight the gay, gay marriage issue. So that's not over yet. That's a difficult subject for me. You see, I have friends which are homosexuals. I don't care for the lifestyle they've chosen but them as people as individuals I like them they've always been kind to me never done any harm that I know of and what a person does behind closed doors not my business and um, a person's souls between them and their maker I do, however, dislike that they're going to force it upon people. They're going to force this. And uh, as soon as some church decides they're not going to marry a gay couple, well, that church, that church is going to have some troubles. It's going to be a test of uh, their faith here. The persecutions will begin. 
soon. Religion. Churchiosity, religion. That's not the way to God, anyway. That's not the way to salvation. Church. Religion won't save you. If anything, it'll turn you into one of those people that hates. And, um, this thing about the flag. The rebel flag. Cross of St. Andrews. <sighs> Why is it that people die for a colored piece of cloth? By the way, the, the Cross of St. Andrews is not, is not uh, an anti-black flag. There were black people that fought under that flag. There are black people that respect that flag and like that flag. Look at the link below. The misuse of it. Propaganda against it, related to it. A lot of that propaganda comes from some of the most prejudiced people. Now, just being a white Christian makes you a terrorist. I'll put you on a terrorist watch list. So they just put the majority of the population in a suspected terrorist watch list. Who are they terrifying? Hmm. War on terror is a joke. If offensive speech is not protected, then there is no free speech, people. So if anything I say offends you, then screw off. Go soak your head. I die for your right to be offensive too. Sometimes you have to offend people. Especially when it comes to the truth. Because the truth is oftentimes offensive to some. My mind can't get over the sight of those poor young people burning in Taiwan. Horrible. My prayers go out to those people over there in Taiwan that suffered in that fire, or suffering now. There's no condemnation from my heart for them. I'm not for gay rights or gay pride or gay anything. But I'm not opposed to them either. Who am I to judge you? I'm a sinner myself. Something we all have in common, we're all sinners. And no matter what that sin is, at least it, except for blaspheming the Holy Spirit, God can forgive you for it. He can make you a new person. The condemnation. Who are we to condemn anything? We all know what's right and wrong in our hearts. You know you've done some bad things yourself. Things you shouldn't have done. 
lies you may have told, things you may have taken. You may have taken a roll of toilet paper from work. Well, that's theft, you know. You may have borrowed some paper clips from work. Hell, you may have took your pencil home from work. That's, that's theft too, you know. We all make excuses. I, uh, some of you that know me know I suffer from chronic pain. And my work is quite uh, um, physical. You know, picking up stones and such. It is a pretty physical job. People ask how I deal with it. How do you keep working when you're in such pain? Well, I've been, I've had pain so long, most of my life I've suffered from pain. It's part of life to me. There are days, some days are better than others. Today, my body says to take it easy. Well, that leads me to what I got to do now. In order to stay online, I have to have uh, help in doing so. I've got maybe enough money to last another month online, so I'm going to be asking for donations. Information will be below. I'm going to ask for uh, anyone that gives $5.00 get a five minute video on a topic of their choice that I will discuss give my opinion on ten dollar donations will get you a ten dollar a ten minute video any contribution over twenty dollars will get you a live chat on any topic of your choice and I'll invite uh, whoever you wish to discuss it with to the chat I don't know about you that makes me want to go fishing <laughs>